You're going to need six regular size paint sticks for the seat of the bench. I'm going to mark right at the handle, right before it curves. I'm going to make a line to know where to cut. Um, I used the handsaw from the Dollar Tree. Uh, it took a while, but it did cut. It wasn't too hard, um, but if you have a jigsaw, probably cut a lot faster. These took about a minute, minute and a half to cut each. When you're done cutting all six, save four of the handle pieces. Those will be the legs to the bench. When picking out four of the legs, stand them up next to each other and make sure that they are all at the same level, like the same height, so that your bench doesn't sit lopsided or have a tilt. Now you need four regular size paint sticks. Two need to be cut at 4.5 inches. This will be for to hold the back of the seat and then you need two sticks cut at four inches and that will be to hold the bottom of the seat. Sand all the cut edges. Try to get them as straight as possible, especially the legs, so that when the bench is sitting down, it won't have a tilt or be uneven. I'm using 80 grit sandpaper. Um, you can use something a little higher, uh, but this did work good. There were a couple places where I needed it to sand really good, sand it down. So um, if you have 80 grit available, I would recommend using it. Labeling your sticks isn't necessary. I just found it easiest and was more organized with knowing what sticks were to what. To start building, grab your two 4.5 sticks and lay them down. Those are going to be to use to hold the top of the seat. Um, grab your three, grab three of your sticks from the six that you cut and then lay them on top of those and figure out how you want to arrange those. And be sure that extra half inch on the two sticks is so that you have enough room to glue on the bottom of the seat. I'm going to use two glues. I'm going to use E6000 and I'm going to use hot glue. I'm going to use hot glue because it dries a lot faster and will hold the, pot, the paint sticks until the E6000 dries completely. When gluing on the bottom of the seat, be sure to hold it in place for a good 30 seconds to give the hot glue some time to dry. That way it sits still and you're helping it stay in place so it doesn't slide or move around. After it's glued and dried, Use some extra glue, hot glue, E6000 to enforce it, especially if you're going to be using um, heavy stuff on it, like flower pots or signs. Um, I did, I used extra glue, E6000 and hot glue, and mine is super sturdy.
I'm painting the legs on before I glue them on. <laughs> There's no specific reason. I don't know why I was tired and I got ahead of myself. Um, but if you want to, you can paint the legs before. You can even paint all the sticks before. It's up to you. To give it a distressed look, I'm going to brush on some dark gray and then I will dry brush it. Don't forget to add some extra E6000 around your legs. And thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.